All right, it's time that I make videos again. So, when was the last time I made a video? Oh, I see. And seeing how that this has not reached a thousand views ever since my Brum VHS's video, or that there's only one comment. Now then, what's the next topic I'm going to be talking about? How about... Something from my childhood, like... Oh, that. I've a lot of explaining to do. Ah yes. What better way to make a video about what shows you watched in your childhood? We couldn't have channels like Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, the Disney Channel for people in America and everywhere else, CBB, CBBC and CITV for people in the UK. And because I'm Welsh, we've got two. Planet Plant Bach. Welsh for Small Children's Planet, a programming block that's aimed towards younger children, and Planet Plant, Welsh for Children's Planet, a programming block that's aimed towards older children. These two programming blocks aired on the Welsh channel S4C and were first serviced in 1998. But for now, let's talk about the one I grew up and probably everyone else in Wales the most, Planet Plant Bach. Planet Plant Bach is one of those blocks on television that I grew up with, the other being CBeebies that is. Back then, it had previous names and services, like Club S4C, when the channel itself was first launched, Slot Mayfrin, Slot 23, and Pimp Pimp. Now, as you may know, the block itself is called Q nowadays, where the mascot itself is a chick called, well, Q. I really don't understand why they kept this mascot for over 13 years and why they just didn't change the mascot or its name. But it seems to me that S4C has no plan to change the name of a brand or have a new mascot whatsoever. But... I think it would be better if they stick to something new, just saying. Now then, back to where I was talking about. The block had two presenters, Martin Geraint and Lori Williams. Both have been presenting the Planet Plant Bach block prior to the Q rebrand, where they've been replaced by Gareth Delve and Rachel Solomon. The shows that the block aired that I enjoyed growing up were Sally Mally, Sam Tan, Tequin Attractor, Rala Ruddins, Will Quack Quack, Pencher Bach, Welsh dubs of some shows, including some that never had any home video release. You name it! Now, to put it simple, half of these shows have episodes found online, whilst others have not. Because, if you look up a show that has a VHS or DVD release, like the Welsh dub of Spot the Dog, you will find nothing. Absolutely nothing. Or what about shows that have not been given a home video release, like Raxin Argoid and Heed or Bibi Bell? You will find that none of these shows have ever surfaced online. Not even by someone who's recorded them by tape or disc. Now, speaking of unavailability of these shows, it's worth pointing out that info on Planet Plant Bach is very, very scarce on the internet. You can't find anything about it before the Q rebrand. There's only some footage of a Planet Plant block that was recorded on tape way back before it was changed into Stunch. You couldn't even find any trace of that block on YouTube. Not even anything from 1998 to 2006. Now, if you're not familiar with my content, 
You know that I keep mentioning the name of that block on my videos, particularly in some descriptions of my videos or in topics of shows that I'm discussing. Oh, and it's worth mentioning that my mum and dad, especially my grandparents, usually record broadcasts of Planet Plant Bach on tape whenever it airs, so I could re-watch them. Now, I'm pretty sure every other parent in Wales does that too, but I may or may not be right. And wherever these tapes are, they're probably sold to antique shops, but not mine, I still have them. But my grandmother has them. Now, why am I doing this? Why am I making a video about a children's programming block from the early 2000s that everybody has grown out of it and has maybe forgotten about it? Well, it's just to say that we kids born in the late 90s and early 2000s have something special in our hearts, something we've been into, then grown out of it, and then come back to see how they still hold up to this day. That's what I have to say. Wales has so many good stuff we've grown up with, from the books we've read, to the shows we've watched, to the songs we've sung, and hopefully this will get the attention to Welsh people, and if any of you still have those tapes which have this block, please comment below and let me know. Also, this is the starting point of a series where I'm talking about shows from Wales that I grew up watching as a kid. So the next video will be a certain red tractor who's very popular in Wales, but was misunderstood outside of the country. You know who I'll be talking about.